Hey guys, you've heard when the RVs are rocking, you don't come a knocking. Well, we may have a solution for that, and we're going to take you up to where the magic happens and show you exactly the dirty deed that's causing the problem. So stick around for that. All right, guys, so we're here in the bedroom. This is where it all started, and this is where the dirty laundry magically becomes clean. Wait, what a minute. What did you think I was talking about? Get your mind out of the gutter. All right. Anyway, when the washing machine is going, it's the only time we ever really feel uh, a lot of movement in the RV. Uh, we walk around all the time. You know, this big old tud, you know, stomps around all the time. And we hardly ever feel like, you know, the, like the RV's really moving. But when the washer, the combo washer dryer is splendid, uh, it goes into spin cycle. It does do a good bit of shaking and stuff like that. Well, we do laundry about every other day because it is it is rather small. It doesn't uh you know hold a lot of laundry, so we do it quite a bit. It shakes it, not terribly, not like a huge concern, but enough to, like or oh, worry like maybe some screws or something are going to start coming loose or something like that, or who knows. So in order to prevent that, we have ordered something and it's outside. We're going to install it and see if this helps. And then we're gonna run a load of laundry. We'll let you know what the results are and hopefully it'll stop the RV from rocking. <laughs> All right guys, what we have here is a stabilizer for your kingpin. It's a little tripod that wedges up against your kingpin that helps stabilize the front of the thing. Our washing machine is actually right here in the front. So we figure we put the stabilization as close to it as it can. There's a few other, few other options out there as far as stabilizing your RV, but we don't really have problems with that um, in the back or this, you know, any other motion except for this. So hopefully this will solve the problem, but we're gonna put this together and get this installed and then we'll go see if it works. It's a pretty simple design. Um, it's just a tripod with this part that goes inserts in here and that sc screws up against your kingpin to create a wedge and it's got a couple of feet you got to put on and a little bit of chain to hold the legs from spreading apart and these feet just uh bolt on pretty simple you need you don't need any fancy tools you just got some channel locks and a crescent wrench all right and this piece just screws into the top here it has adjustable height and you adjust it by the chain which we're going to put in here in just a minute the chain just goes around like that Because our RV is kind of like on a slope, our kingpin is kind of low to the ground. So we've got to spread these uh, tripod kind of far apart to get it underneath. And then to get the legs from going apart, you just the chain holds it together. And then we just use the pin provided to, to tighten this up. All right, guys. So usually when you set this up, you would just uh, brace it up and snug it up against there. And it only take like a couple of turns to snug it up against the kingpin. But we have the flex air system, which is basically an airbag. So it took a couple extra turns because you have to put some pressure up against that airbag before you get enough significant enough pressure where it's going to help with the sway back and forth. Because this really isn't a problem. It's mostly this direction 
when there's you know spin cycles on and stuff but it's pretty simple there's a few other things that you could you could get is they have ones that with like legs that uh stick down underneath here that wedge out and you have to take a ratchet strap and strap them together and they have ones that uh that you could put on the side too down here but um i didn't want to have to deal with i didn't well first i didn't want to bolt anything up to the trailer anymore i didn't have to want to deal with getting down there and ratchet strapping anything like i said it's not a big problem except for when we're doing laundry so hopefully this will be a decent enough solution you know i've talked to a few other people owners around here that that set up the tripod and they say that it helps so we're going to go do a load of laundry and we'll let you know how it turns out there's my little helpers over here <laughs> all right and so far this uh blended uh 2200 has been working pretty well for us like i said we do laundry like every other day um you do have to clean it through a clean cycle about every 30 washes yeah, 30. so and it'll tell you a little cl will pop up on the screen hopefully this really helps out fingers crossed and uh, i'll give you more details about the jack we chose and we got a pretty good deal on it and we'll share that with you it's gonna take about two hours because it'll wash and then automatically switch over to dry and then we'll check it back in with you. All right, guys. So, well, it's cycled through, and I tell you what, um, it doesn't get 100% of the shaking out, but it's probably like over 90%. What would you say, Kimberly? Yeah, it's way better. Oh yeah, and by the way, I'm Chris, this is Kim, and this is the Salty Trips channel. We're all about uh, full-time RV living, uh, trucks travel, towing. So if you're interested in any of that kind of stuff, we have lots of other videos of you know roof repairs, black tank repairs, uh, towing, trucks, uh, you know RV life, all that jazz. If you're interested in that kind of stuff, hit that subscribe button, notification bell, all that fancy jazz. Give this video a big thumbs up to it so it spreads some more people. We really appreciate it. So far, so good. It is the Dumble fifth wheel tripod stabilizer. And it was only, I think, $68. It was well worth it. And what were you just saying a minute ago? I said we should have got it when we first saw it at the original RV spot we were at like yeah. six months ago. Yeah, she was just giving me grief. She's like, I told you to buy one. I'm um, like, yeah, we should have. We waited, you know, a few months that we, you know, we've six been doing months. The, six months. <laughs> yeah, so we went six months without it. We've been doing laundry. We should have got it a long time ago. It was a good investment. Those other jacks that I kind of mentioned earlier, they might be good too, but this one's working pretty fantastic. So if you have a washer dryer combo or you're thinking about getting one, or you got a little shimmy and shake in your fifth wheel, I would definitely get one of these uh, stabilizers pretty easy it's lightweight i could just when we travel it it just collapses i can just throw it right in the back of the truck one of the real reasons i didn't want to get the other ones that you you have to bolt up to your rv and i didn't have to crawl down there and ratchet strap it and all that mess so this worked out great what do you think baby yeah i like it all right kim gives it a thumb up so give this video a thumb up and hopefully we'll see you guys in the next video thanks for coming along and see you later bye where the dirty laundry I, I, can't, I, I just can't flabbergast that you would say that. Right. <laughs> Give me grief. But. Finkle. They always want to say stuff.